Hey, Tom Shocker here, President of Camping Survival. We got John Michael with us. He's my knife guy. He also works in our shipping receiving department. So some of the packages you get, John Michael may have uh, put together for you. We just finished a Mora knife video, destroying it, and uh, if you get a chance to look at it, it was fun to shoot. You should watch yeah, it. it. Was fun. Yeah. And um, so today, though, we, uh, John Michael mentioned uh, what his favorite knife sharpener the other day. And we didn't have it in stock. We didn't carry it on our site. But we decided to pick it up, put it on our site, and he brought it in today for, to show us how, why he likes it, how it works. Which, okay. which one is it? Okay, so this is the Spider Co. Sharp Maker, the Triangle Sharp Maker. I actually found out from watching another YouTube video that Spider Co. originally started making sharpeners. They um, So they first started making sharpeners. I think their motto was like, we start. We first started making things sharp before we made sharp things, or something like that. <laughs> something like that. But anyways, when you open up, this not as cool as our model, which is uh, what stay sharp and stay prepared. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. So anyways, when you this comes in a nice, neat package. It's um, so when you open up the package, it has your fine stones. So these are your white stones, and then you have two medium stones and two brass safety rods. I don't know, is the camera focused in on this a little bit? I don't know. I don't know if y'all can see this, but anyways, then you have your platform. So basically... I'm going to bring it up closer just so they can okay. see it. Yeah. Um, Definitely do that. So there's your platform, and basically it allows you to be able to fit your stones in there, and you can either fit your stones... I don't know how well this is going to show in, but... You can either have it so you have flat sides facing in or the corners facing in. Like that for like serrated knives and such. But anyways, you have two set angles that they come with and that's the 30 degree and the 40 degree or the 15 and the 20. They kind of, you, if you divide it in half like that. But basically, most of your regular knives, like your EDC knives and such, will be on the 40 degree edge. More of your like your kitchen knives or things like that would be on the 30 degree. Why is that? That is because it has a thinner profile, like mm -hmm. for more slicing and stuff. And for an EDC knife, you don't have to. When you have a very thin ink, you have to constantly resharpen your knives and um, stuff like that. So you want kind of more of a broad angle okay. for your EDC purposes. But anyways, so I'll go ahead and start off with the medium stones. I prefer to have this on the flats. Basically, I guess you'd call it. Um, I really honestly don't know if this is showing in on the camera very I think well. It's a very small screen we're looking at. I think it'll be okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Anyways, and then you put the, so you set it up like this on the 40 degree angle. And then you set your brass safety rods in here. I've never really used these. Uh -huh. But they, they recommend it so you don't cut your fingers off or something. But I've honestly never like slipped off. But anyways, and then you stick this piece right here and you oh, can okay. put it like that. Cool. But today I'm going to be using a Swiss Army, I believe this is a Spartan, but its blade is fairly dull. It can barely cut paper. Oh, good grief. Well, it didn't cut paper when I, when I picked it out. You see a lot of yeah. rough edges, yeah. so it's kind of... It's yeah, not, it's kind of dull. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, so how I like to sharpen. There is many different ways to go about this, but my favorite way to sharpen, I actually found this on another YouTube video. He called it, this was, I can't remember his name, but anyways, he said this was kind of going against the grain of um, how Sal from Spyderco recommended sharpening it. But anyways, how he does is he goes down, and then before he comes off, he goes back up, and he just continues to do that. And how Sal recommended it from Spyderco is he just goes one stroke on each side. But anyways, basically to start this off, you want to have your knife perpendicular to your flat surface or wherever you're working at. And then you want to take it and you just want to go down. So I'll go ahead and start off. So I basically I think this is just going to be a video of watching me sharpen this knife and get it razor sharp. So anyways, I'll just go ahead and start sharpening this. Now how many strokes do you get on each side usually? Honestly, there's probably a set number that you're supposed to do, but I just kind of kind of just feel that. I, yeah, I just kind of, I just kind of go with it. I get distracted while I'm sharpening. So, anyways, and you don't, you want to make sure to be careful because if you accidentally pull it out and then push it back up, you'll ruin the point on your blade. So you don't want to overestimate it, I guess you say. But anyways, you just pull now, and you want to make sure. 
that your knife blade doesn't go crooked or anything. It doesn't give you any weird knife grind angles. But anyways, just want to go like this. And you want to do this until this side right here gets a burr. The full side of your of your blade. Sometimes to check if you're getting the correct angle on this, if you're just starting, is to take a sharpie and go across the and cover the angle in a sharpie and like a green sharpie or a red sharpie or something, so that you can see where your how your angle is, because you want to make sure that you're getting the full angle and that you're not messing up the factory edge, unless you're reprofiling it. But anyways, you just want to start like that, and you want to do this until you get a burr. So I'll just go ahead and start doing that. How long have you been using the sharpener? I have only been using this sharpener for about two months. Oh wow. We bought this for my dad's birthday. He's a really huge Spyderco fan. In fact, we call ourselves a Spyderco family. Because my granddaddy, when they when they started making knives, he bought a Spyderco knife and then it passed down to my dad. Mm -hmm. And then me and my older older brother, he uses one and we just love Spyderco. Now, um, what did you use to sharpen before this one? Really, honestly, I just used like an Arkansas whetstone, and it just never worked. It, I guess that was probably operator error, mostly. Yeah, this definitely has a burr. Like, operator error, because you can definitely get a nice edge on an Arkansas whetstone, but this is just so much easier, and doesn't take nearly as much time. What's this for? That's my makeshift drop. I don't. Okay, I, I need to get a strop sometimes, but anyways, when you're done with the fine, you'll just go on the strop a little bit and take out the miniature burrs. Okay. So now you switch to the other side and take that burr out until you get burr on the opposite side, and then once you do that, you just start alternating strokes. But I'm going to try to hurry up and do this. I don't know how much time we have on the video. I don't want to spend too much time on it. But oh wow, well, we already do have a burr. Actually, let's do a paper test to see how it's cutting already. Okay, let me go ahead and take that burr out because I'll okay, mess cool, it up. Definitely. Let me go ahead and finish it on the medium, and we'll check it. And you can tell if there's a burr by running your fingernail on it, on the, and you can also, also you can see the burr basically. But a burr is when the opposite, when your angle. So basically, you have an angle like this, and it's kind of when one edge folds over a little bit. And you, the goal of trying to get a burr is you want to straighten out the burr, and this makes it so much sharper. So I might have the burr out by now, so I can go ahead and do a paper test. It's Ooh. definitely better. Yes. It's not perfect, but it's better. Yes, definitely. Glad I got the burr out of that. Um, sometimes it's a little bit hard to get that burr out. Let's go ahead. That's already shaving. Yeah, it's That's already shaving. Oh, good. Wow, well, just on the medium. That's nice. Uh, Y'all probably won't be able to see that at all. But anyways, take my word for it. There's some <laughs> hair there. So now I'm going to switch out to the fine. This is, fine and is it about an equal number of strokes, you think, as you would use on these? Depends on how dull your knife is. If it's right. really dull, you, you'll spend a long time on these right. and go to the fine. And also, keep in mind, this sharpening system, it is awesome. But if you want to do any reprofiling, you might want to get a little bit... I know we also carry Lansky sharpeners, like your Lansky jig, and that would be great for reprofiling because, honestly... As that particular YouTuber pointed out, he said that this was like a sharp getter, I think is what he... Sharp getter? Something like that. But basically, you already need a fairly, not too dull knife, because if, if you can't cut butter with it, you can't use this, because these stones are not, these are medium stones, so they're not super aggressive. So, honestly, 
this is more I could say this is more of a finishing blade like if if you don't tear up your blade too much basically if it's not extremely dull like I'm I'm saying really dull like you can't cut basically anything but if you this is this would be more of a perfect EDC sharpener because none of us are really going to get our knives super dull on a daily basis right. but anyways this is more and basically you don't have to use the medium every single time I, what I mostly do is I just touch it up on the fine stones and then move it to the straw and I just keep it sharp like my bench made it just stays sharp so basically the, this is not more of a reprofiling you might would want something more aggressive for that but anyways I'll go ahead and try, try to wrap this up with the fine stones and we'll smooth it out and you can just about just about get a mirror polish on these fine stones. They, this sharpening system does a really good job and you can do kitchen knives, you can do serrated knives, you just flip this out and it's got a nice corner of your triangle to do your serrated knives with and you can do that, you can do, yeah. Well, while you're doing it, I was just thinking something, you guys might appreciate this and I've been carrying for a while. Benchmade Infidel. Um, a little story about this. I bought it used and almost immediately, it's the spring wasn't working. It just wasn't popping out, wasn't popping back in. About uh, a month and a half ago, we sent it back to Benchmade, and I got it back about a week, two weeks ago. Cleaned, sharpened, working perfectly, free. I mean, they, they Benchmade is awesome. I don't know if you've seen this thing before, but uh, I love this knife. It's uh, just got a good feel to it. And, I mean, I was initially concerned about having it in my pocket here and, of course, popping out and getting myself in the thigh. But it's actually pretty hard. you gotta got to kind of choke up on it when you're, you're doing that. Um, just an awesome That's knife. actually um, a good point because I had, I know somebody that had one and it was not the Infidel. It was just an off-brand switchblade mm -hmm. and um, they were playing paintball and it went through their pants Whoa. leg. It did not hit it, but he, he just glanced down and his knife blade was sticking out. And he still has those pants and he'll wear them <laughs> sometimes and it just has like a little hole right there. It's yeah. kind of funny. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I don't have an off-brand. Yeah. Definitely. I'm going to leave that out. You guys want to check that out? Zoom in. I don't know if you can. Yeah, our camera skills are not good at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just about got this where I need it. And also, you can also do big knives as well, like, um, I haven't tried machetes, but big choppers, this just works great on it. I've, I've seen S.E. Hunglis's do it, I've seen, and that's a really big knife, that's like a, maybe a 16 inch knife overall, it's, it's huge. So, it definitely, as long as you can pull, it, it pretty much goes as far down as you want it, basically. It's a great chopper, right? It, it works perfect, and it takes no work, no time at all, really. It, you don't have to spend very long on it. Check that out. Boy, that's got to do well. I hope so. I might, there might still be a little bit of a... Oh. Hmm. There we go. Still not perfect. Yeah, there might still be a little hint of a burr in there. I believe there's might be a little slight burr on this side right here. Let me get that out real quick. And this just does such a nice job. I know before on that Arkansas whetstone that I had, I had one spider crow. This was when I was a lot younger and I'd use it and I kind of tore up the factory edge a little bit on that. It, it's got a quite irregular blade um, grind and I was really disappointed in that, and this this is almost dummy proof right here. It is it is great sharpener. And also, when you're stropping a a um. 
Swiss Army knife or anything with a slip joint like that, you want to be careful when you're stropping it because you don't want it to go shoot yeah. across your fingers. Okay, let's try this. Should be good. Nice. Oh, that was that was my fault. Uh, right I, yeah, I just went onto the uh, little. Oh, yes. definitely an improvement. And I don't know how long that was—a couple minutes, maybe. But this just made it very sharp. Yeah. And I'm sure this this was sharper than before. Oh yeah. One of, one of the problems with a knife tester is you honestly have no arm hair on your arms anymore. <laughs> you, you can tell you can tell a knife um, person when you walk by because they just have bald patches all over their arms. But anyways, <laughs> yep, here was just a quick review, or I don't know how quick it was. It was probably actually kind of long, but a review on the Spyderco Sharp Maker, and this is everything that comes with it, basically. And you can do all kinds of mods. There's many different other things that you can buy for this system. It's a great system. A lot of people use it and tie it up with a strop, a real strop. This is not a strop, but any a real strop like that, you can keep your sharp your keep your sharp. Keep your knives sharp and everything for for all of your knees because if you actually use them, then you definitely want to keep them sharp. A sharp knife is way safer than a dull knife. Way safer than a dull knife. <laughs> it's all, oh, <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah, we are. Okay. We never uh, take out. This, this is kind of like a blooper edition, kind of, <laughs> because we honestly we never take out. We never redo our videos. They're all first try. But anyways, yep. So a sharp knife is a lot safer than a dull knife. So you definitely want to keep your knife sharp. And the Spyderco Sharp Maker is a great sharpening system for that. So make sure you stay sharp and stay prepared and look us up on campingsurvival.com, blade forums, and YouTube.